And welcome back to this new Pizzit Ray tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this scene in 10 minutes. Let's go! Here we are in a fresh blunder scene. Today we don't want to use this cube, so let's press X and delete. Let's go to File Import FBX. And we want to bring in the first asset, which is the post gassy source gassy gassy FBX. Now we want to add the floor. So let's press shift and a mesh and plane. Let's change this now in the X and Y to 60. And now let's bring in the last asset. Let's go to file append and we want to go into our folder again and select the R blend file here and let's go to mesh. And plane. Now we're having here our car. Uh, let's rename this one here to car and now we can hide this for now. Now we want to texture our floor so let's select this one floor and we want to bring in here this menu and change this now to shade editor new material material floor and now we can select this one here and go to no brainer if you don't have this just go to edit preferences and search for Wrangler and enable this one. Okay, select this one, add principle setup and we want to select here the ground 54 folder. We want to use the color map displacement normal GL. So this one here and the roughness map. So let's import this one. Now we can go to Z material preview and we can see here our sand material and we want to go here now into the scale of the mapping and change the x and y to 8 and i like to go here in the normal map and change the strength to 5. okay now when we want to add here the displacement which is already connected but we can't see it really so we have to go into render mode so let's change this one now and i want to go here now to cycles gpu compute and let's change the feature set from supported to experimental it's important for this later and now when we are going maybe let's change here the light a little bit see what's going on here uh, when we are selecting here our floor let's go here to these material tab and we want to go to settings and change the displacement here now from bump only to displacement and bump something is going on but we need more subdivisions and to do this let's press tab now and we want to make a right click five times so subdivide 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 and subdivide mm. and now let's leave the edit mode again by pressing tab we can see that's a little bit better but first let's go here now to shade smooth that's better and now we can add more subdivisions by going here into the modifiers tab add modifier subdivision surface and we want to change this now to adaptive subdivision the adaptive subdivision is only a smarter way to have subdivisions because uh, what is in front of the camera will be more subdivided by the stuff which is far away from the camera now we can change the displacement scale to 0.25 uh, let's bring in the car here again let's select this one and let's bring this to a new position and that is minus 15.9 by minus 18.9 and let's change the z value to 0.7 and i want to rotate this in the z value to 122 and as we can see uh, the textures are missing so uh, let's have a look here everything is connected but the, the textures are missing and we can't fix this by going to external data, data and find missing files because i think the names are different so we have to do this by ourselves so let's go into the folder and we have to select here now the color uh, let's go with a roughness um, normal and metallic that's looking cool but i want to have a little bit more darker style here for the car so let's go press shift a and search and i want to search for a hue let's put this one here in between and i want to change the saturation down to zero and the value to point 
two. I think now it's time to change, uh, to bring in the camera view here. So let's make a second window and let's leave the menu here. Let's press zero on the numpad and I want to change um, the camera now. So let's select this one. Let's go to minus 20 by minus 26 by 0.7. And I want to rotate this to 103.5 by zero by minus 45. Let's go to the camera settings and I want to change this to 25. And we can bring in here the viewport display plus by two. Let's hide here the light. So now let's add here some neon stuff. So we want to uh, yeah, select here the gas GAS um, typo here. So let's create a new material for this one. And that's the base material for the whole station, which you can add later if you want to, but for this tutorial, it's not important. And later we want to add here an, another material on top. But first we have to select the letters. So let's go into the app mode or the edit mode. Now let's press seven on the numpad. Change this here from point mode to face mode. And we want to press alt and Z to go into the X-ray mode. And now we can select here the first three letters. Maybe this is uh, this part here. That was a little bit too much. Let's press control and deselect these three. That looks good. And now we can go back here into the material and press on the plus sign here. And now new material. Let's rename this here to neon. Let's uh, change the view mode back to Alt and Z here to leave the X-ray mode. Now we can change here the color in the emission and bring up something like this. And I want to increase the emission strength to 10. And now let's press Assign. And now we can see that uh, this one is glowing here. Let's leave the edit mode by pressing tab. And now we can go ahead with some fog. So let's bring a new cube, which is fog. I want to change this one here. Let's bring back the menu by pressing N in the X, Y, and Z to 75. New material on this one. And now we can delete the principle and search for a volumetric scatter. Bring this one in here. Yeah, now let's change uh, the color a little bit down here to something grayish. I want to change the density to down to 0.3 and the anisotropy to 0.9. That is really cool glowing here as we can see. We can see that the environment is a little bit dark. So let's change this by bringing in an HDRI. Let's use the easy HDRI folder. You can select here your uh, favorite folder and then press create world notes. We can see that's looking a little bit better, but we want to change this now to Kiara one dawn. And I like to go here now into the world, change the rotation here to 273. So we're having a really cool sunset here behind our gas station. Now I want to bring this uh, add value here all the way down to 0.1. So it's a little bit more a sunset feel here. Let's go back to uh, object. And now we can select our fog again. And I would like to change this grayish tone a little bit more to a bluish. So uh, we can see that the color is a little bit more orangey now here in the rendering. Now we can bring in here the light. And I'd like to change this now to a sun. Uh, that's really burning here, but uh, we bring down this now to 20 here and I like to change the color to something like this and let's bring the angle down to zero and now we have to go here into the object properties change everything to zero but that's not important for a sun but <laughs> I like to have this on the zero so let's go here in the rotation to 79 by 49 by minus 230 and now we're having the beautiful sunset here behind our gas station and one thing is missing i like to have here some backlights for our car let's do this really quick by adding here a new area light let's bring this one to minus 70.8 by minus 19.8 by 0.8 and we want to rotate this to 0 by 9 minus 90 by 210 and if you want to rotate this all the stuff by your hand you can do this 
when you press R here, you can rotate this in every direction. If you press R, X, Y, and Z, you can rotate this on one axis. Or uh, when you press G, you can move this in every direction. Or if you press then after G, Y, X, and Z in uh, only one axis. Let's change now this light here. I like to use here uh, this color. And uh, let's change this down to 2.5. And I want to go with a rectangle and go with 0.16 by 0.43. That is uh, one light here on the left side. Let's duplicate this one. And I want to put this now to minus 70.35 by minus 20.3. And the rotation is minus 90 by 240. And now I want to change uh, this here the color management to something like um, medium high contrast. That's up to you as always. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me check out my Blender Market or Gumroad page. See you there and bye.